The rolling green hills here at Tilden is a wonderful place for horses. Foals have been born, the mares are getting back in foal and the sunshine on the back. I think horses are a lot like humans, they like the vitamin D and you know it just gives them a chance to relax and really be horses. You can see them here stretching out, having a roll, getting up from a sweaty, lying in the sun. Uh, it's a tremendous property to, um, to grow horses out, lovely undulating hills. Uh, so we're hoping for um, some wonderful results in the sale ring, but also uh, on the racetrack, which is the number one. Cable Bay's come back from High Coast Southern UK, a uh, much better horse than he was last year. He's really let down into a beautiful stallion, and we're very lucky to have him here in Victoria. He's got his whole career ahead of him at the moment, and from what we can see here and from back in the UK, it's looking very promising. Cable Bay himself is a beautifully balanced, powerful, big hip, big hindquarter horse with great bones, short cannons and these, these foals are really uh, being stamped by him. Uh, beautiful shoulders, depth, uh, lovely hips on them, uh, and beautifully marked. So from someone who's worked at a sales company for over a decade, uh, I really see that pin hookers, when they first get the opportunity to buy these in the wheeling sales next year, but then moving on into the yearling sales, these are really horses that uh, the buyers are gonna wanna purchase. It's fair to say that Australian trainers in the Australian industry breed for speed, and two-year-old speed. Cable Bay had that in spades and he's now producing foals that look every bit as fast as he was. To be a two-year-old and race seven times as he did, you know, it suggests that he had a wonderful constitution as we can see in these foals here on the ground. They're independent, they're uh, inquisitive, so I think it all bodes well to, um, to be successful racehorses. Cable Bay, tis my view, filly. Well, what a sweet filly she is. We see her here in the paddock just with a beautiful temperament, um, beautifully marked, as you can see, the, uh, the balance and strength and bone that Cable Bay is leaving these foals. It's, uh, it's a tremendous credit to the horse. Lawrence is a stunning individual. He doesn't quite have the big white blaze that the Tis My View foal has, but uh, as you can see there, he's the head down and he's a real sprinting type. He's got the depth to his shoulder and the wonderful hip. And I think it's important to know that uh, his mother has already tested positive back to Cable Bay. Uh, Tis My View has also returned to Cable Bay, so I think it's a, it's a great example uh, to these foals that we have on the ground are wonderful types and we have belief in this day and that these mares who nick well on the pedigree template are going straight back to Cable Bay. This gorgeous sweet filly, she's in the big yard, big paddock for the first time today, let go this morning and already she's uh, showing a will to run, keeping up with mum. I think mum's probably showing her how to run but um, just gorgeous as she puts her head down, gallops, stretches out, it's a, it is a wonderful sight. The quality of broodmare that uh, Cable Bay served first year is extraordinary. We talk about the Bridget foal, uh, making this mare that foals out of a full two, all too hard, but of course a half-sister to the incredible undefeated Black Caviar. The quality of mare that Cable Bay served first year and is again serving this year far exceeds a stallion of his service fee. So he's going to get every chance as a stallion. It's a wonderful time to be at uh, Woodside Park, especially with the likes of Cable Bay but it's also a very frustrating time. We see these foals, they're magnificent, but we're still two years away from seeing them on the racetrack. So we must be patient. We've got the broodmare's quality that's gone to them last year. We're now getting the foals. We've now got to wait a little bit longer, but uh, we've got complete and utter faith in this horse to, um, to be a very successful stallion in the future.